over the last five years, I've had most of my friends have moved down to Florida and retired. They thought they were going to go down there living the good life. And I'll be honest with you, I mean, most of them, their houses have gone down 60% value. Their little nest egg they had in their, with their stockbrokers dwindled down to next to nothing. And a lot of them are out looking for part-time jobs. Well, one particular friend of mine has gone so far down, I mean, this guy is actually homeless. And his only friend he's got down there actually lives in a storage shed, or one of these storage units uh, that you can rent. He lives in this, this storage shed down there. And my friend uh, that's living down there that's actually homeless is living in his 1983 LeSabre. And I called him up and I said, I said, man, I said, man, you got to be doing better than that. I said, you can get a job doing something. I mean, go down to McDonald's or go somewhere and at least get a job. He goes, man, there are no jobs down here. I said, dude, if there are no jobs, you can start a business and make money. He says, you can't start a business. He goes, I don't have any money. How am I going to start a business? I said, man, I give you five businesses that you can start for less than $30. He goes, that's impossible. I said, all right, I'll tell you what. I said, for less than $30, you can start a pharmaceutical company. All you need to do is to go down to the grocery store and buy yourself a bottle of aspirin, maybe some Tic Tacs, just, you know, good and plenty, just whatever, you know, candies that you can find out that look like pills. And then what you need to do is to go onto one of these love dating internet uh, sites and put up a personal ad. He's Italian. And I said, just put up an Italian stallion looking for older women to date uh, for fun and a good time. And I said, down there in Florida, there's all kinds of wealthy widows. So all you do is when you answer that, just go to their house, sit down, have a little cup of tea with them, chit chat a little bit, and ask to use the bathroom. Once you're in that bathroom, then just start rifling through that medicine cabinet. They must have had two, three, four, five operations in the last year, hysterectomies or whatever, and just rifle through and get all them pain pills out, put them into a baggie, and then whatever you take out, make sure you're replaced with something, you know, throw in uh, the aspirin or the Tic Tacs or whatever, just make sure those bottles are filled back up. And once you leave, she sees all those bottles are emptied out, so you might call the police. But that'll give you a good inventory. You should be able to get four or five clients per day and before you know it you can be pitching and selling all your your little buddies out on the beach there that are homeless pain pills and making yourself seven eight nine hundred or a thousand a day the second business you can start which is another business for less than thirty dollars is that you can go down get yourself some paint five six seven cans of spray paint a little box and, and some numbered stencils. And what you want to do is down and forth, all these elderly people having all these medical problems, is knock on their door, tell them that the ambulances and the police are having problems finding their house. And if you're going to have a heart attack or some other med med medical emergency, you need to be able to get in there and find your house immediately. And your house is not very well uh, seen as far as the number on it. So what we recommend is to have your address stenciled onto the curb. You can charge them $10, or if you want to upgrade them to a gold plan and do a double, which is on both sides of the driveway, it's 20 I figure you should be able to do 20 to 30 houses a day, netting you out between four and $600. Business number three is you can start an auto body business. And what you need for this is you need a can of Bondo, a spatula, and some sandpaper. What you need to do is just basically cruise through different parking lots looking for people that are getting into the cars that have any type of body damage on it. If you see them, just come up, tell them that it looks like about a $2,000 dent. I can fix it on the spot for $150 cash. If they agree, simply take the Bondo out, spatula, smash some of that uh, Bondo in there, let it dry up for about 10 minutes, sand it down, take some gray pram primer spray paint and spray that thing off. Hand them your business card, and if they want to get the final top coat on, then you just bring them down to your storage shed where you've got your compressor, and you can shoot it off for another $500. You should be able to make yourself between seven and fourteen hundred dollars a day doing that particular business if run correctly. The fourth business is to open up a uh, beach bar, and basically what you need to do for that is you need to take the television that you've got in storage right now, go down to Radio Shack, get yourself an AC/DC connector, a case of Old Milwaukee's Best beer, a cooler, and maybe sixteen pounds of cubed ice. And what you basically do is go down to the beach park your car on the trunk of the car, hook up the TV, plug in the TV, set up about four or five lounge chairs, 
And then as some of the riffraff comes by, ask them to sit down. They can watch the TV at the beach, and uh, you can serve them beers for a dollar a piece. Now, the last time I checked, the beast is running about twelve ninety-five a case. You're doubling your money, and if you run through three, four cases a night, you can make yourself a hundred dollars a day. Now, what I'd do if it was me is I'd, I'd even bring it up one step further and serve some food. And what you can do with that is just go down and get yourself four or five packs of hot dogs, put them into a plastic beer, uh, a bag, and just fill that bag up with a can of a uh, beast, and then wrap it up in uh, aluminum foil, put it up onto your uh, exhaust manifold in your engine compartment. You heat those dogs up and serve serve the riffraff dogs along with their beers, and probably make fifty or sixty dollars extra a night. And that is a pretty darn good business. The last business that uh, you can start now, you again, you know, you got to be creative in these things. Is uh, is to start yourself uh, uh, basically an appliance store. And what you're going to do is you're going to cruise through and put up an ad up on Craigslist, uh, offering to remove used appliances. So, say someone's got a refrigerator, you get out to their house, and once you get out there, tell them that you know it's twenty-five dollars, you'll take the refrigerator down to the dump or wherever. But then when you notice that the Freon's still hooked up, you're going to have to tell them that it's going to be an additional $80 because the Freon has to be evacuated from the system. So now you've got this refrigerator and they've just given you $100 for it. And you take it back down to your storage shed, take a picture of it, put it back up on Craigslist, and then advertise the used refrigerator for $50. When you get a response on that ad, then you tell them that you offer a delivery service for an additional 50 so for that one refrigerator, you've now made yourself $200, and it'll also work with any kind of uh, uh, couches, or, or if you want to do a little dumpster diving, I mean, you can have your whole self of an appliance, furniture store type operation, making yourself, depending on how creative and how many ads you put up, three to $500 a day. And that's the five businesses that you can make for less than $30.